name is Jonas. Uh, I usually say that I work in, with digitalization in the construction and real estate business. I usually say that I, I work with change management. I work for ICA Real Estate, uh, which is a co-op in, in the ICA concern. We've decided to focus on BIM because we're a company that's involved in the whole construction process, from project development until facility management. So for us, it's easy to use BIM through the construction phase, but our goal is to use it in the facility management phase. Since Day one, when we start to work with BIM objects, we get a lot of objects in our twin model. Uh, but these are mostly windows, doors, those kind of construction materials. One of the challenges we're having right now is that we get the, the walls, the windows kind of fast. Uh, but now we're going after the kind of our ECA suppliers. Uh, like the cashier, recycling unit, um, the lightning fixtures. And that's the next step for us to get our closest friends on the BIM object train. We're right now driving the Hercules platform because I think it's, it's the most suitable for us, uh, which gives us the control of, of getting everyone on board. So we can actually go to the architect and say, this is our ECA library. Uh, you can pick anything in here and place it, but these are the brands we're working with. The first thing is, is to have a correct twin model of the facility. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much the easy part. You can do with scan, you can do uh, with Revit. Um, the next step for us is to fill it with data with objects and as I said we're, we're focusing on the facility management so that's where we start with the objects uh, if we're gonna do 5% of data we, we, we're starting it with the facility teams most demanding units um, when we have that in place the next thing for us is to bring in the IOT so when the, when the facility team enters they want to know which product is is the wrong one and what's the problem with it and what's the data behind it. Take one of our stories and, and look at it. We start in the, in the ventilation room. That's the overall most energy demanding room in the whole building. And today that room is controlled by time. If the store is open between 7 in the morning and 10 at night, those units are on. So when we look at beam objects, we want the ventilation unit, we want the pumps, we want the AVAC unit. Um, and then with help from sensors, we can make those units talk with other relevant data, such as the weather. If it's gonna be a warm day tomorrow, then we can start compensating with cooler air and make a much more better climate, both for attendants and the customers. And when something breaks down in that room, I want the facility team to know which component is it that breaks down. And that's possible if you have the BIM object from day one. We're, we have only been doing this for a year. Uh, we're really starting our journey. Uh, but the, the thing that's important for us is that we know what could happen if you don't start it. Um, right now we're doing a large project in Ian uh, which is kind of the sandbox project for us. Uh, we're trying everything on that store. And I think that's the, the first step. You, ne you need to try everything because you don't know the right way. Uh, or I don't know anyone that can answer which way should we go. So try 10 different ways and if four of them are wrong, that's that's okay, but you need to start. If you're not planning on starting your digital transformation now, when are you going to do it?